Welcome into today's lip declutter video. I just did a lip declutter, I want to say like five months ago, but I think there were products in there that were probably on the point of expiring. And I said to myself I was going to reach for them and then I didn't. I just recently started my everyday makeup drawer where I'm going to start rotating a lot of these products out so that these guys can get more use, but I have not done a good job at doing that. I think also my preferences have changed. There's just things in here I know I'm not going to reach for over other things. And instead of having that collector's mindset, I need to go through these and declutter the stuff that I'm not going to use. One of the things that I, I like to do in videos like this is to take everything out and swatch everything. I also want to do the smell test on all of this stuff. So I have this drawer and this drawer as well. So all of these things need to come out of here. I'm going to change the angle of the camera and set it up so that it's like an overhead shot. We can see the up close swatches. I can probably do like mini reviews of all of this stuff if that helps you guys. I also don't know if I want to keep all of these shades and so part of this video I want to spend time actually lip swatching the stuff that I'm uncertain about. So that will be at the end of the video in case you guys are interested in sticking around until the end of the video. I really hope you do. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little bit of a try on on some of the stuff that I'm not sure about in terms of one formula and really two shade so I can make real-time decisions and not just kind of set this stuff aside so let's pull everything out and let's hop into the first drawer Okay, I filled this one bin. Couldn't get everything in here, I'm not gonna try. So let's start with just this bin. This is definitely gonna be a longer video, so I hope you guys are tucked into bed watching this video, or you've got your tea, your coffee, maybe your lunch, I don't know. Let's get into it. There's even more lip products, purse, everyday makeup drawer, uh, things I'm testing. I also have things on my filming station that I use all the time. I'm not even gonna pull all of that stuff in and I may have to break this video either in multiple parts or different days in filming because I feel like it's gonna be on the longer side. I'm gonna try and pull these in by brand. So I'm just gonna set this aside like I typically do and start pulling some things out and talking about them. Okay, I have three of the Summer Fridays Lip Whales. Four shades came out, but I didn't pick up the lightest shade. Rosewood Nights, Soft Mauve, and then Blush Dreams. These look very pigmented when you swatch them, but they're so sheer when they get to the lips that they don't really have any shade to them. I think these are honestly a little bit of a goopier formula than I was anticipating them being. I like to go in with a really light layer on these because they're a little bit thicker of a formula, but because they're so sheer, it doesn't make sense to keep all of them. I think I'm going to let go of Rosewood Nights because I prefer both of these shades just a little bit more. Not that it makes a huge difference, but I'm not going to use all three of these up before they go bad and these are fairly new so um, anything that's still good I'm going to pass along to my daughter and then anything that's expired just goes in the trash so I'm going to pass along Rosewood Nights and then keep the other two. I have two of the Beam lip glosses from Made by Mitchell, See Right Through and Innocent. I had the whole set but ended up decluttering the rest almost immediately because the set itself I think was expired when I got it and a lot of the products had separated in the tubes and these are just a little bit goopier of a formula. I haven't like loved them and I also haven't reached for them since I tried them on. So let me give them a sniff. Yeah, this one's fully expired. I, it's, it already stinks. This one doesn't have a scent to it yet, but I think to be on the safe side because this whole set came expired when I got it, I'm going to throw these away. I have six of the Moira Beauty Glow Getter lip oils. These were the six that were the first launch that came out. Now I think they have 14 shades in the line. These are super pigmented and very opaque. They're also sticky, not like your conventional lip oil. They have real tack to them. They're quite long lasting, but they're not what you would expect from 
uh, something called a lip oil. They may have reformulated, I don't know, but these original ones were just sticky and kind of goopy. You can see that on the swatches. Although my hand is like a little bit wet from the makeup wipe that I was using. Some of these shades admittedly are also very similar once they get to the lips. So I do not think I need to keep all of these. So this one is all natural. That is tea berry. That one is only smooches, lovely rose. This one is soft peach and that one is honey boo. Um, I think that these two are so similar. I think I'm gonna keep the more purpley one in only smooches and then pass this one along in all natural. And then these ones are very similar, honey boo. And then this one in tea berry. I think the honey boo is just a little bit deep. So I'm gonna pass honey boo along and then hold on to tea berry. Um, I think I'm gonna let the soft peach go. I just, I don't always love peachy shades on me, so I don't need to hold on to that, but I'm gonna hold on to the last one in Lovely Rose. So I'm gonna keep these three and then declutter these. I have two that are very similar. I think the Juvia's Place one came out to dupe the MAC Squirting Plump Gloss. This is supposed to be a mauve shade, but it's very soft pink on me. I don't think it's a very flattering shade on my lips. This one, from MAC is in Heat Sensor, which is also not a shade that I use all the time, but it's more unique in my collection. And I like this formula just a little bit more. It's a little bit more glossy and smooth. So I'm gonna hold on to the MAC one and then I'm going to pass the Juvia's Place one along to my daughter. I have two of the Milk Kush Lip Oils, the ones that just released. I had two of the Orange Crushes, but I ended up passing it along to my daughter because I did not mean to buy two when I bought them online. And then I also picked up Cookie Dough. These are meant to be sheer. They're only very lightly tinted. This one in Orange Crush smells just like a vanilla orange popsicle. It's delicious. <laughs> this one is supposed to be Cookie Dough does not taste like or smell like cookie dough. They're both sheer. So really the only thing I'm getting out of this is kind of like the scent of it. And I don't enjoy this. I don't know what it smells like makeup maybe. So I'm gonna pass this one along to my daughter cause this is so new and then hold on to the orange crush. I have some one-off lip oils here and I think I'm gonna hold on to all of these. I have the PhD hybrid lip oil from House Labs in tint. Then I have the Clarence Lip Comfort Oil Shimmer in, I think, Shimmering Pink, Pretty in Pink. This is the Flower Petal Lip Oil from Winky Lux. Then I have the one from Ami Cole that is in the shade Romance. And then I have from In Beauty Project, Candy Apple. Let me swatch these out for you. The one in House Labs is a little bit older in my collection, so I'd like to rotate this in uh, to my everyday makeup drawer to get some more use out of it. The Clarins Shimmering Lip Oil, I don't see sold on any other website except Macy's, and that's where I ended up picking this up. I think sometimes people overlook Macy's for makeup, but they have good sales often, and they also carry some of the same stuff we like, and sometimes even better. This one from Winky Lux is like your conventional lip oil. It's very smooth, very slippy. These two have a little bit of stick to them. This one um, smells and tastes just like vanilla. It's very pleasant. The one from Ami Cole in Romance, it's a really interesting doe foot applicator. It's like ridged. You can like even see it when I swatch it out. It's a little bit of a thicker formula too, but it's very soft on the lips. And then this one from In Beauty Project in Candy Apple smells just like Candy Apple. So, so good. So much better of a formula than I think probably the House Labs one um, in terms of kind of stickier lip oils. I just, I really prefer this one as a smoother formula. They're all fine. Some of them are just a little bit different, but I'm gonna hold on to all of these. I enjoy all of them. I have the Kosas Wet Lip Oils. I've had these for a while. I think it's time to pass these along. These came from a, a set, unbuttoned, unhooked, and unzipped. I have not reached for these in so long. I really did like them, but they're just on the older side. They're a softer, pigmented formula. They all look very similar when they get to the lips though. There's not a huge distinction. Well, especially between these two. This one's more of kind of like a milky shade. They're just older in my collection. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let these ones go. 
I have one of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms. I have another one in Birthday Cake. I don't have any idea where it is, so instead of me trying to dig for it, we'll see it at some point, and I am gonna declutter that one. This one in Vanilla Beige is smooth and soft and lightly tinted. Smells delicious. The one in Birthday Cake is goopy and weird, and I don't think it's the same formula, so I don't like it, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. I have two Juicy Gossip Lip Oils from BH Cosmetics. These were new releases at some point last year. This one was the watermelon one. They're basically sheer. Um, they're also like your conventional, super smooth lip oil. They don't have any stick to them. Um, and I think this one is in, they don't have the shades on them anymore as far as I can remember. I think this one was like strawberry, and then this one was watermelon. I still really enjoy these, so I'm gonna hold on to these also. I have two of the lip oils from e.l.f. This one is in the shade Pink Quartz, and this one is in Rose Envy. I don't know if I bought these at the same time. They have kind of a, I almost wanna say like a, a peppermint scent to them. That one is basically sheer, but this one has a little bit of a tint to it. I actually enjoy both of these as an affordable option, so I'm gonna hold on to both of these. I mean, how many lip oils does one need? I don't know. Um, I have two here from LA Girl that nobody talks about. These are, I think, just their lip oils. These are sheer, and I think they're meant to be sheer. They say that they're sheer, but they're scented, which is pleasant. They're also like your conventional lip oil that is very smooth, no stick to it. This one is in sheer strawberry, and then this one is in sheer watermelon. I, I wanna say I have another one um, that's like shimmering something. I don't know where it is. Yeah, see, they're just sheer. So I don't need both of these. Um, I'm gonna keep the watermelon one because I just prefer the scent more, but I'm gonna pass along the strawberry one. And we might find that other one from LA Girl later. Here's all some one-off glosses slash lip oils. So this one is a hybrid from Milk that came out last year. It's called Odyssey Lip Oil slash Gloss. This one is in the shade Work Trip. I really enjoy this. It's like slightly pigmented, but it is your perfectly balanced gloss slash oil. Really nice formula. Holding on to that one. The one from Kaja I enjoy. It's the Juicy Glass Lip Oil in Rose Hip Spritz. Basically sheer. There's no real tint to this. I think this is marketed as like a cross between a lip oil and a gloss and that's what it feels like. It has a little bit of stickiness to it. I like this one so I'm holding on to it. But I think it's time to pass this one along. They don't even make it anymore. It's from NARS. It's one of the oil infused lip tints in high security. It's basically a lip oil. It has a nice little bit of tint to it. It's so smooth. It's literally the smoothest lip oil I've ever tried. And it's slightly tense, but this is so old in my collection. It's one of my oldest lip products. I think it's just time to let this go. Plus again, they don't make it, so. I have five of the lip oils from Chuvia's Place. These I think have scents to them. Mango, honeydew, watermelon, sweet orange, and blueberries. I think these were the five that were released. I held on to these because I liked the formula, but they're again pretty sheer. They have the slightest tint to them. They are your pretty standard smooth lip oil. They don't have any tack to them whatsoever. They're not super old. I think they came out last year, but they're so sheer and I just have other formulas that I prefer over these. I think I held on to them, all of them, for the fact that I got all of them and I think I did a short with these, but my daughter would love to use these, so I'm gonna pass these along to her. I wanna say I've passed along a lot of my other CoverGirl Yummy Glosses and there's probably one in my purse. I've held on to these two. This one is in the shade Sunrise Blush and then this one is Laugh Endure. I like this formula. I don't find it like the most nourishing. It's basically a lip oil, also pretty sheer. These have no real stick to them even though they are a gloss, they perform more like a lip oil. I think I am gonna hold on to these. I like, oh, hello. 
there's like a hair there. I like putting these in my purse or somewhere that I'm working and put these on. So I am gonna hold on to both of those. I'm pretty sure this is the only kind of product I have from LA Girl, it's the Glossy Tint Lip Stain. It's really smooth, pretty tint to it. It's just not a shade that I reach for in sheer bliss. It's just a little bit too pink for me. So I'm gonna pass this along. I have one lip oil from Sigma. It's the Renew Lip Oil in All Heart. I enjoy this also. It's more of a, a stickier formula. It's nice though. It has a slight tint to it. Again, kind of a nice product to throw in your bag or at your desk. So I'm gonna hold on to it. I wanna say these are all of like my shimmering lip glosses. No, one more. I think this might be it in like this stack of stuff that I pulled out that has a bit of shimmer to it. I have the one from Patrick Ta in She's an Influencer. It's called the Major Glow Lip Shine. I like this. It has little iridescent sparkles in it that I feel like actually translates on the lips. It looks pretty sheer in this swatch, but I, I think it's more intense than that when it gets to the lips. I'm gonna hold on to that. Then I have one of the 3D Hydra lip glosses from Kiko Milano in zero, well, I guess 017, 017. This is another glittery kind of shimmery lip gloss. Kiko does such a good job with their like shimmery lip glosses and nobody I see talks about it. Um, this one is a little bit older from Stila and this has managed to stay through so many declutters. It's the Beauty Boss Lip Gloss in Synergy. I have not been able to find this. I don't know if they make this anymore. This is one of the prettiest sparkly glosses. This is just old. This has to be thrown away. This doesn't smell right anymore. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter this. I have a newer one from uh, About Face. It's one of the lid, lip lock lip glosses in the shade Angel on Fire. This one isn't as shimmery as the other ones. There's just like light, tiny, tiny shimmers in it. Um, yeah, just not as intense as some of the other ones overall, but this is such a smooth lip gloss formula So I'm definitely holding on to this one. I think kind of same thing with the Milani. It's more shimmery than it is glittery It's the keep it full nourishing lip plumper in Luminoso I think this one and the one after it I held on to because they were just so pretty on the lips But this is the super lustrous lip gloss from Revlon in the shade Blissed Out. I think I prefer the shade of the one in Revlon just a little bit more. This one's a little bit of a stickier formula than the one from Milani. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Revlon and get rid of the, or pass along this to my daughter of the Milani. This one from Half Magic is the Magic Drip in Frosty Bitch. This one is another glittery lip gloss. This one, I'm not exactly like my favorite shade. I wish I would have gotten a different shade in this formula because this one's just a little bit um, like milky on my lips, but it's such a nice like glitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one from Kevin Aqua's the Glass Glow Lip Gloss in the shade Crystal Clear. This is just like a little tester that I got in, I wanna say like a beauty box or like, an advent calendar or something. It's also a nice iridescent glittery lip. I'm holding on to it. This is a new release from Essence. It's the Juicy Balm Shiny Lip Gloss in Bouncy Bubblegum. This one is really pretty too. I, I wanna move this to like my bag to get more use, like separated. So there was like a lot of water coming out. Move this to my bag to get more use out of because it's also a nice little glittery little lip. So holding onto that one as well. I have two of the Rare Beauty lip oils. I had four, three or four, I think, but I decluttered all of the rest of them. There was a peachier shade, I think. I have Wonder still, and I have Happy. I like this formula. I think a lot of people didn't, or they were like kind of confused about why it was like a lip stain plus like a, a really light kind of oil or super pigmented product, but I'm gonna let go of Happy and hold on to Wonder because honestly, I only need one formula and I prefer this shade more than this peachier shade here. I have two from Juvia's Place. This was from the Candy Shop collection, I'm pretty sure. This launched, geez, I wanna say at like the end of 2022. So bubblegum 
and then Coco Milo. And I think there were five shades and I only held onto these two. I don't know, there might be some more in there. These need a sniff. Oh, they still smell good. They're really pigmented, goopier lip glosses, but they're pretty on the lips. Do I need Coco Milo though? I almost never reach for like full on brown shades like that. Yeah, I'm gonna pass Coco Milo along and then keep bubblegum. I think these are like two one-off glosses that I have, maybe last in this bucket here, um, that's like in the lip gloss category. I have the Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss, the Forget the Filler from uh, Lawless in the shade Velvet. This is definitely goopier than I thought, but it is pretty on the lips. Nice real tint to it. It's not overly sticky, but it's definitely thicker. I'm gonna hold on to that one. But this one from Milk, this is Milky Gloss in the UBE Milkshake flavor uh, in, who knows, like Tim G11 is the shade. I mean, like, what is that? I don't even, I don't even know. I like this one too. It's such a purpley cool tone. Yeah, I wanna hold on to this. It's so smooth and it's kind of a unique cool tone shade that I don't get enough use out of. I wanna pull this one also and like into rotation. I have several different formulas for Makeup by Mario. These are some of my favorite. I know there are a lot of people that don't like this formula, but I really enjoy it. I would even get different shades. I wanna say I'm missing one of these shades in the Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Colors. This one is in Smoky Pink. These are delightful. I don't know why anyone would dislike them. They're so smooth and they have like even pigmentation. They're so comfortable on the lips. I thoroughly enjoy these. These are not goopy on me at all. I don't love this shade though in Baby Coral. It's just not a shade I reach for like ever. So I'm gonna pass that one along, but I'm gonna keep the one in Smoky Pink. And then in these, the Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Serums, I have another one that's in like Apricot Glow. I have another one that's also in my purse. I also don't reach for Apricot Glow that often, so I'm not sure I'm gonna hold on to that one, but I love this one in Rose Glow. I got this, I think as a mini during like holiday time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna hold on to Rose Glow, get rid of Apricot Glow, and then I have yeah, another one in my purse. I can't remember what it is. I love this formula. It's just that these like apricot shades. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna set this one aside. This is one that I wanna try on to see if I like, which I told you guys I was gonna do, but I haven't pulled any of them out yet. I haven't felt like I needed to, but that one for sure, because I love the formula so much and it's such a different tone than this one that I know is, is so much more like even brownish leaning, this has like a hint of pink to it. So I might actually really like this um, more so than I remember, but definitely gonna hold on to this one. I have more of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. They must be in the bottom drawer because I don't have them here in this bin, but these are like very, very similar. This is the Cherry Pick Lip Color Butters in Pample Mousse is like the shade here, it's strange. I had a different shade, which was much more orange and I ended up decluttering it and replacing it with this one because it was such a better shade for me. It's like a mauve shade. This is such a good formula. Honestly, a lot better than the Maracuja Juicy Lips. This one's the Lip Vinyl. So this one is the one that just came out in Cranberry Shimmer? Shimmering Cranberry. Um, this is such a, a goopier formula. I think the About Face one is, is nicer, but this is still new and it has a bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm gonna hold on to it. And then the one from Flower Beauty, the Plump Up Gloss Stick. This one is in the shade spicy. I also like this. It's just different. This is more of like a balm than like a gloss like these two. I still really enjoy both of these formulas, but this one, yeah, still holding on to because it's a little bit newer. Plus it's the only one that has like the shimmer to it. I might let go of the other ones like this because I have like one shade in each of the formulas in the Maracuja Juicy Lips, but we'll see. I have two sticks one from Clinique and one from Neutrogena. This is the Chubby Stick Intense Moisturizing Lip Balm Color and Broadest Berry. I think I really like these. These are so nourishing. I, I wanna test this one out, so that's gonna be set aside. Same thing with the Neutrogena. This is the Color Stick in Soft Raspberry. Like, how different are they? 
I want to, I want to test both of those. You know what? No, I'm going to get rid of the Clinique because it's older in my collection. Um, but I'm going to hold on to the one from Neutrogena and I, I like this color a little bit more on me. So I'm going to declutter and keep. I have one of the liquid lip balms from Rowan. This is brand new to me. I've had it like less than a month. It's in the shade Charlie. I don't love this shade though. It comes out a little bit more brown on me. It's kind of like a lip oil. It has a really intense minty smell, which isn't my favorite, but it's new. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. I have two here of like, I think these are liquid lips. Um, Superstay Vinyl Ink from Maybelline in the shade Witty. This is one that I definitely would like to try on. I don't, I don't even remember this formula. So I love this shade though. This is definitely something I would like to get more use out of shade wise if it's a formula that I really like. So we'll save that for a try on. And this is one of the lip bonds from Urban Decay in the shade Back Talk. I had a different shade at one point and ended up decluttering it and then it replaced it with this shade because I liked the formula, but then I haven't really reached for it in a while. So I'm going to try that one on as well. Um, I have two liquid lips, one from Chanel, one from KBD. This is the Hyperlight liquid lip in Moth Orchid. Ooh, it's so pretty too. I want to try all of these matte formulas to see like which ones do I want, which ones do I don't. Um, this one from Chanel is in Soft Rose. It's called one of the Les Rouge Duos Ultra Tenue Gloss. So one side, this is such a good product. One side is a matte liquid lip and then like once this locks down you take the glossy side and cover it very similar to like what nyx did several years ago but this is like way better quality it doesn't break up it's really really pretty um also something i would like to get more use out of i'm gonna set this aside to put this in i don't know my everyday makeup drawer to wear this on a more regular basis because i've had it a while i just haven't given it enough love i'm pretty sure we're done with all of the glosses and lip oils like in this bin here so most of what's left is like in the cream category i have two from lys and i always forget what these are called and the writing is so small these are the nice creamy bullet lips i picked this one up first in moody but I didn't realize like it's a full brown shade and I liked the formula so much. I ended up going back for a shade that I would like a little bit more. I prefer this one in optimistic better than moody. So I'm going to get rid of moody and hold on to optimistic. I have one from tinted. I think this is like a dual product where it's lip eye cheek. Okay. It's the hue stick in true. I love the shade. I don't like this as a blush. It's way too matte. Um, I have so many other products that I like better and I haven't reached for this, so I'm going to let it go. The last like liquid type product I think in here is the airbrush. Um, I think that's all that it's called from Charlotte and Rose Blur. I actually really like this. Like it's nice as a blurred product. It has kind of this like airbrushed quality when it gets to the lips. It gets really pretty and it locks down. I don't think this is a bad product from her at all. So I want to hold on to this. I wanted Pillow Talk because it wasn't as bright of a shade, but it was totally out of stock at my local Sephora. So I ended up getting this one. I mean, it's nice. It's just punchy. And so I don't always reach for a punchy shade like this, but as far as like a super silky, soft, really even pigmented blotted lip, I think this is a really good one. I bought a whole set of the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick formula in December and I've already given some of the shades away. These are just little minis from the set, um, but I know that I don't like all of these shades. So I want to go through and swatch these and see which ones I want to keep. I love the Powder Kiss formula. It's like one of my favorite soft matte formulas. So these are really nice to have. I just won't reach for all of these shades and I need to pass some of these along to my daughter who would really enjoy this formula. So this first one here is in Cozy Caramel. The next one is in Flurry Fleur. And the more orangey shade is in Kinda Sexier. Then the next one is in Big Brick Energy. This one right here, which looks so much more like red, comes out like a little bit more burnt. 
This is in Miraculous. This purpley one over here is in Grape Escape. And then the final red one out here is in In a Holidays. This is such a beautiful formula. I forgot to swatch this one though in Twisted Taupe. Okay, all right. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because I just, I don't reach for like brownie shades like that. Um, I also feel like I'm gonna get rid of this one in kind of sexier because it's just it's an orange shade again that I don't really reach for. And this red one, like I have red shades like 10 times over and this one's kind of in like a pinkier red that I'm sure I have in, in a holidays. And the purple one for sure, Grape Escape, like I won't, I won't reach for that. Um, so I think I'm gonna hold on to just these four and let these four go. I have two of the NARS, I always forget what these are called. Um, I cannot even remember. <laughs> this one's Sheer and this one is the matte formula. So they might even be called different things. This is Damage and Bukhara. I also love this formula. The sheer one is like, I don't, it's such a beautiful, cool toned shade. And then this one, the matte formula is like a perfect mauve shade on me. Also one of my favorite matte formulas. So both of these get to stay. I wanna pull out my little minis next. I think I have four little minis. Um, the one from Rare Beauty in Sincere is actually a dewy lip balm. Oh, that's actually really pretty. This again is a little bit older, so something I probably wanna pull out. I'm gonna set that aside. I have the Pillow Talk. I'm pretty sure this is like a matte lip from Charlotte. Actually, I have a large one from Charlotte too. This one is in Pillow Talk Intense. I think this is like the creamy formula though. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, I'm gonna hold on to both of those. And I have one of the matte trances from Pat McGrath that just flew out. So um, can I put this back on or are you done Zeno? I don't know, it still smells fine. <laughs> it's like this little mini mini. I also like the shade too in Flesh 5. I just pushed it back on so I think it's fine and I really like it. I have a mini from Anastasia. This is one of the matte lipsticks in Dead Roses. This is another tremendous matte formula. Oh, and I love this shade too. It's like this really deep, cool toned mauve shade. So I still want to hold on to that. I have uh, one of the No Transfer. I can't remember from the War in 670 Rose Blues. It's one of the transfer resistant matte lips. And I just didn't love the shade. It looks so pink on me, like bright pink when it gets to my lips. But I love this formula and it was pretty expensive. So I'm not at all ready to let that go. I have one of the sticks from Lorac. I've had this for so long. It's the matte lip color in pink taupe. I think it's time. I think it's so time to let this go. Yeah, and it smells, so bye. I have three of my Kiko Milano lip products here and all of these I got in December. So I'm gonna probably hold on to all of them. This is the Unlimited Stylo in the shade 17. They had an unlimited collection come out for holiday. Such a beautiful, super soft line filling formula uh, in this beautiful blue toned red. This stays 100%. I don't know if I need this one though. It's the Hydra Shiny Lip Style in the shade 05. This is such a bright pink and I have I have this, I don't need this, this is this can go. I love the formula though. Kiko Milano is some of my favorite lip products. This is the mini powder lipstick um, from the holiday premiere collection that they had come out for holiday. Satin matte uh, cream and then matte formula. This is just a little bit too coral for me, so I'm not gonna hold on to this one. Although I told you, Kiko Milano is like some of my favorite lip products, so I highly recommend all of their stuff. And then I have one from She Glam. This is one of the Cosmic Crystal Matte Lipsticks and Priority Status. I just, I really like the shade. I need to try this on again and see how this formula goes for me because I might not hold on to that. Um, I have one from Beauty Bakery. I think they're going out of business, are they not? The Souffle Sunrise or Sunrise F Souffle. This is another one of my favorite matte formulas. Yeah, I need to, this, this also needs to come out too. I'm like setting some aside 
to genuinely go into my everyday makeup. I have one mini from Urban Decay. This kind of has like a sentimental value. It's the matte version of Back Talk. I have this one in Back Talk as well, but this is the like stick matte. Um, the reason I can't get rid of this is because when my dad was sick before he passed, um, I wanted to take a mini lipstick on my travels because I try and take little products with me when I go and I took this. <sighs> so it's not going. I don't know. It's just, it's not. I have one of the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shined Lipsticks in Dolce Vita. I love this. I wish it was a little bit longer lasting. The formula doesn't stay. Um, it's a color that can be really built up. Like it starts out pretty sheer and then you build, build, build and it gets deeper. And I love this formula. It's so soft and just beautiful and plush on the lips. It just like fades off of me very quickly. So it's like one of those products I find myself reapplying continuously, but this goes nowhere. I do enjoy it. This one I have from Colfi is the, I don't know, lipstick in, I don't, I don't even know what the shade is on this. First Sorry. I think the lipsticks are called First Sorry or the shade is First Sorry. I'm not even sure, but this is such a beautiful creamy, but like locks down the pigment on you for hours lipstick. Um, it's also like starts out sheer, but you can build it up as well. This is such a beautiful product from Colfi. I really enjoy all of my stuff from them. I have one from Hermes. I think uh, it's a brighter pink shade. It's also like a satin matte. This is an 18 Rose Incense. Hmm. Ah, I just, I don't really love this formula. I don't think, I wanna try it again. I actually might not hold on to this, so let's give it another go. I have three of the lipsticks from Makeup by Mario that just released. I don't know where the third one is. Oh, the Super Satin Lipsticks. This one's in the shade Dumbo. Um, this was the one that I wasn't sure I loved over the other two. This one is in Tribeca and the red is somewhere else. Forest Hills, the red is in Tribeca. This one is Forest Hills. This is again, one of those formulas that is very similar to like the Colfi. The Colfi is a little bit more sheer as it starts out. These have much more intense pigmentation that they lock down on your lips and they stay. And they're also like slightly glossy. I would say they emphasize my lip lines a little bit more and more than the Colfi one, but these are also longer lasting. I just enjoy this formula so much. The Dumbo one though, is just a little bit brown. Like, I don't know if I want to hold on to Dumbo. I tried to get like a more mauve shade, a deeper berry color, and then a full red, and it was a nice range. It's just, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to that one. So I'm going to hold on to Forest Hills, which is the deeper shade, because I know I like this, um, but we're going to try on the one in Dumbo, see if I like it. And this last one here is one from Oma Beauty. It's the Black Magic Lipstick in the shade Savage. It got broken because my son came up here and was like playing with it and then sh like shoved the cap back on. Uh, I think somebody recommended this to me as like a beautiful bullet lipstick that was shimmery. This is such a fun color. It's so much prettier on the lips than it looks on the swatch. It's like this reddish coral with like orange in it. Something about it is really pretty. It's like a thicker, glossier lipstick that's a little bit more sheer. Um, so fun, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. We have a ton more to go, so we're not gonna do any counts yet, but that was the first basket. But these are the ones I pulled out so far that need to be retested, which we will do at the end. But I had three other ones that are still in the package that I'm not gonna try on in a testing new makeup on my channel. Um, I did just get set these in PR, the matte cream lipsticks from Queen Musea, um, and I really do want to test this formula out. Um, as you can see, I do have my favorites as it relates to matte formulas because a good matte formula honestly can be a fantastic lip product and very comfortable. Um, this is like the first time like a larger brand has sent me anything in PR this way. I've had like smaller brands send things, but this was like the first time. So honestly, I'm really excited to test these out. Um, and also they gave me a code, uh, a discount code. So honestly, if I like these products, like 
I can also recommend them. They let me pick these two shades. I wanna see how these look on me because not always is like the swatch the best indication of how they're gonna look. This definitely looks like a shade I would like. Um, maybe not this one, but I wanna test this matte formula. So far like swatching it, these are pigmented, but they're like a creamier matte formula. I wouldn't even know that these were matte just by swatching them. So anyway, they also gave me a discount code like I had mentioned, which is also the first time a brand has done that. So uh, pretty exciting for me. Anyway, we're gonna set these aside and try those. And then also the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Be Glow Oil in the shade Lavender Glow. I am also extremely excited to try this as well. Look at that delightfulness. A couple of you guys recommended this product to me, said that these were really amazing. So far I've only swatched it. It feels like kind of a stickier lip oil, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know if this is gonna become my favorite, but we're gonna try that one on as well. What I need to do next is go grab the rest of those products from that last bin and we can go through those. I have four of the unearthly lippies that released from the Devour collection from Holiday. Two of these are matte liquid lips and I kept them because I thought they were kind of cool. Um, I, I'll never like wear a green though. Like I'm just being honest here. And this one is like a beigey gray shade. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of cool to keep these. These are such a nice matte liquid lip formula. Um, but yeah, I'm just not gonna reach for them. So I'm gonna let these two go. And these other two are lip oils. I didn't mention this and I don't know if you can get these anymore, but this one is in Yummy. And then this one is in Destroy. Same thing with these. I don't know if you can get these lip oils anymore, but I enjoyed them. This one is in the shade Run. They have a little bit of stick to them, but they're, they're pretty nice on the lips. And this one is in Chomp. No, this was another matte liquid lip. Um, it's kind of like a um, grayish black. I think I'm gonna declutter this one, but I'm gonna hold on to the one lip oil. I found a bunch of the ones I was talking about. So this one is the birthday cake lip butter that I just, I do not enjoy. It's almost like frosty on the lips too, and I don't enjoy it, but it's like this super goopy formula and it's like sticky on your lips. It's just not flattering. It leaves like that weird goopy that nobody likes on their lips. So this one I'm going to pass along. And here was the other one from LA Girl. This was the shimmering lip oil. And this one is in shimmering grapefruit. Again, such a nice formula. Not a whole lot of like glitter in this, but I'm still gonna hold on to this one. This grapefruit scent is so strong and pleasant. I like this one, keeping. And here is my other four of the Maracuja Juicy Lips from Tarte. So I have five total, which I think was all of their releases. Each of these are just a different formula. So I have the Shift, which is a blue shade in Blueberry. I like this one because it's super cool toned on the lips. Um, I just, I like that it like cools my lips down and it's not like super goopy. This one is the Lip Plump in Rosy Mauve Shimmer Glass. And I like this shade for every day. Again, it's just not as goopy as the Lip Final. And then I have this one, which is the original Juicy Lip. And this one is in Hibiscus. I also like this shade. Um, for an everyday, more pigmented. These other ones are lighter pigmentation than this one. Again, if I was gonna declutter any of them, it would totally be the lip vinyl. That's my least favorite formula. And then I have the lip cream in the shade Mauve. And this is just basically a bullet, cream bullet lipstick. Not similar to the other two really in any way other than it. it's kind of part of their uh, Miracuja Juicy lip line. So I'm gonna hold on to all of these ones. And I think at some point, I'm gonna end up declaring the lip vinyl. It's just not my favorite. I have one of the Physician's Formula Butter Tinted Lip Treatments. This one is in the shade Pink Paradise. They only came out with two shades in this line. It's nice because it's really pigmented and like one swipe gets you decent opacity. It's one of my favorite releases from this um, collection that they came out with, the spring of 2024 collection that came out earlier this year. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one is the NYX Fat Slick Click Oil, I guess. I don't know the whole name of this. It's in That's Major. Um, 
this I don't think is like similar to the Tarte, but it was trying to be. This one feels more like the one from Flower Beauty and then it's just like a creamier balm formula, but not like these, which feels like a stick in a gloss format. Um, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. I love this shade. I have two lip glosses and one lip oil from Lunar Beauty. The lip oil is just clear and expose me. Such a beautiful formula. This is the kind that like glides on nice plump and juicy with no shade to it but your conventional lip oil formula plus all of these smell really good this sparkly pink one is in divine so pretty i feel like i need to pull these ones out as well this last lip gloss is in aura i like this like nudie beige color um i feel like i'm gonna keep these ones out as well so i just haven't gotten enough use out of them i have one prep and prime from mac this is just clear but it's supposed to be like something that you use i think to put underneath like a matte lip i just i don't have a purpose for this honestly so i'm going to declutter this I found the other one from Makeup by Mario and the Super Satin Lipsticks. This one is the one that's in Tribeca. It's like a blue red. I do just enjoy this formula, so I'm holding on to it. And then I have one left, the Fat Lip Drip Oils from NYX in Follow Back. I had other ones, but I did pass them along to my daughter. I don't know if I need this. I just, I don't love colors like this so i'm gonna pass that one along i've got two of the phantom glossy balms from hourglass i have the shade rise i like these another one that is kind of like the tart but it's smoother it fills in the lines a little bit more and then this one is in the shade desire which i enjoy a little bit more it's a bit of a, a mauvier shade i like both of those this is just very nice neutral shade on me so i'm holding on to both of those I have one lip oil from Wander Beauty. This is new to my collection. It's in the shade Skinny Dip. Um, it's just not my favorite formula. It's sticky. It's not like your conventional lip oil. It's smooth on the lips. It does do that. It's just a little bit of a stickier formula. Plus, I don't love this shade. It's just a little bit too peach for me, so I'm going to already pass this one along. I have one from RMS Beauty. I feel like I have two shades of this. And I don't know where it is. I don't remember what these are called, but this one is in the shade Miranda. I have another one around here somewhere. It's like one of the lip serums. This is an amazing formula. It's like cold, um, super pigmented. The color lasts really long time. I hear kind of hot and cold reviews about this, but this is like one of my favorite products from RMS. So I'm for sure holding onto this thing. I have one from Bite Beauty left in the drawer. Uh, I want to smell this one. I already I have like one other red shade from them. I think I just I love this formula and this one is one of those um, Like bluish reds bite just had like literally the best matte formula. It's the outlast longwear lip stain in sangria slush Hmm, I think I think I need to let this go. This is just on the older side and I have some other Bite Beauty lippies that I'm working on and I have a red shade right now in the bullet from Bite and I think I like that tone just a little bit more than this one so I'm gonna pass this one along. I have one of the lip, I think these are just like lip glosses from Odin's Eye from the Mighty Monster Collection in collaboration with Annette. Um, I think this is such a lovely little formula. So non-sticky and it's this like really cute corally shade so I'm holding on to that one. I have one from Pound Cake. Uh, it is a matte lip stain, basically. It's the Cake Batter in Red Bean. This is a really interesting product. They have different shades of red in this lip line, and it's supposed to match like different undertones or on different undertones for people's like lip color. Um, this lasts basically all day and it breaks down really nicely. I think it's one of like the better matte liquid lip formulas on the market that really nobody talks about. I'm definitely holding onto this. I have one of the heart melters from Kaja and this one is in So Fine. 
like pretty similar to like the other bullet styles. I, I don't think I need this one. This one's a little bit older too and I never reach for it. It's nice like a creamy lipstick formula and a nice shade, but I think this is older. I just need to let this go. And finally in this bin from that first drawer is the Fenty Poutsicle Lip Stain in Zesty Bestie. I just do not reach for shades like this. Let me swatch it right here. Like this orange just doesn't look flattering on me at all. So I'm totally gonna pass this along. Okay, I just went and I pulled some more lip products out of the second drawer. This isn't everything, but this is quite a few of these smaller ones, like the bullet style, but there's still some glosses and stains and things in here. So let's go through this basket. I found two more of my Bite Beauty bullets. I think these are called the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. This one is nearly done. Um, so I probably am just gonna like use this up. So I'm gonna hold onto it, but keep it out. This one I'm gonna let go of in Sazerac. It's just a brownie shade that I, oh look, it's all, hardly got any left in it. You know what? It's kind of mauve-ish. I'm gonna hold onto this one too and pan it. I have two of the Fruit Fetish Lip Oils from Milani. I think I enjoy the one in Raspberry Peach a little bit more. This one in Cherry Lime I had first. They still smell delightful. I just, I don't know if I love the scent of this one in Cherry Lime as much as the Raspberry Peach one. It's a really nice formula, but do I need both? Because I also have like the Clarence one as well. This one's just more tinted than this one, or at least kind of, that's kind of the way it seems to me. I think I'm gonna hold on to Raspberry Peach, but I am going to let go of the Cherry Lime. I'll just give this one to my daughter because these aren't that old in my collection. I do have one from Clarins. I was trying to find this one to put it in my product pan, but I couldn't find it in the drawer. This one is in 08 Strawberry. This one's getting a little bit older too. Wow, still smells good. This one is not even as pigmented as like the Milani ones. It's like weirdly peach colored. I, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one too and pull this out so it doesn't go bad. I wanna get some more use out of it. I have one Atomic Lip Lacquers from House Labs in Rosewood Shine. This is just like getting older. I wanna test this one again too. I have to shake it up. Uh, yeah, I wanna test this one again to see if I like it before I pass it along. So it's gonna be one of those that I test. I'm gonna set that aside. I feel like I've even tested that one and I decided to keep it and I just, I honestly haven't reached for it. So this is probably gonna be like its final verdict. I have two of the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils from NARS. This one is in Damned and this one is in Valkyrie. This is like very equivalent to the Bite Beauty Power Move formula. These are so super duper creamy and they last a decent amount of time. Um, I need to get more use out of these as well. So these might go in like next month's rotation, um, but for now I'm going to hold on to both of these. I have one lip gloss from Cali Ray. It's called Glazed and Infused Plumping Glassy Lip Oil in Free Palomas. It's rolling away on me. Um, this is actually really nice. A little bit of a stickier formula, but it fills in the lip lines really nicely and it's pretty nourishing and pretty high shine. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have one Glossier from ABH. This is older too. This is the lip gloss in Saint Tropez. This was like a sample. Uh, they don't make this shade so far as I know anymore. It's got like a metallic finish. And this one I would pull out also for next month's rotation. It's really pretty and I have just like one other metallic shade. I kind of like them, I think they're fun. Um, I think this is such a good formula though. It's so creamy and soft, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I have one of the balms from Lawless that is in Juicy Watermelon. It's from that Juicy Watermelon collection, but it's so freaking stiff and it's too pink. I just, I don't enjoy this. I'm gonna pass this along as well. I have two from YSL in the old packaging. This was a limited edition one. It was the Rock and Shine in 01. I don't even think they make like the Rock and Shine anymore. Um, and then this one was just like from their regular line. And this one was in 88. They're similar shades. Um, or just like different undertones just a little bit. I honestly would never get rid of these. I don't think they're very nourishing on the lips. Like I feel like they fade off pretty quickly, but it's so comfortable and so smooth on the lips. It's basically like a balm in a lipstick form. 
plus they're pricey, so I'm gonna hold on to these. I have one left from NYX Way of the Water Avatar collection. It's just a matte in Natiri. I held onto this because it was such a super cool shade and it was a really nice creamy formula, but I have the Forest Hills one from Makeup by Mario that is so similar to this in this shade and formula. So I'm gonna let this one go because I prefer the Makeup by Mario one more. I have one from Patrick Ta. It's in That's Why She's Late. I think this is like a bluish red. Yeah, it is. It's very similar to Original Recipe from Give. I think both in shade and formula, they're like this powder formula. This one's a little bit more pink, but I only have one of each. And because I like these brands, I still wanna hold on to both of them. But they're such a comfortable matte formula. The thing is though, they like will slip. So you really do need to line your lips with these. I have the matching lip liner for the one in Patrick Ta, and I do like to like just use it when I use the one from Give so that they don't slip out of the lip lines, but they're very creamy matte formula. So I do like them. I have one of the signature lips from Moira. I wanna say they've even expanded the shade range in this. This is Burgundy Noir. Um, I like having one lip in this formula from Moira, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I have one lip from Urban Decay. This is just one of their cream lipsticks in Weho. I don't like the shade, I don't think. It's just too pink on me, so uh, I'm gonna let this one go. I have two lips from Merit. One is the matte formula that just came out, and this one is the signature lip that is like creamy. This one is in Baby, which is like my perfect kind of neutral tone on my lips, and I thoroughly enjoy the formula. This one I like more now that I've worked through the top layer. This is their signature like matte lipstick and this one is in the shade Mason and I'm gonna hold on to both of these. I also have two of their lip oils. One is I think the limited edition shade slick gelée tinted lip oil. It might not be limited edition. This is in Jeté and this one is the tinted lip oil in Beat. I prefer this one the tinted one just a little bit more. This one right here is a little bit more sheer, but also like almost pH-like. Like why is this pink and this is kind of orange? I never understood that, but it, yeah, it's kind of like a pH one. I just, there's so many other lip oils that I prefer more than this one. So I'm gonna let this one go, but hold on to the tinted one. I have one of the crushed lips from Bobbi Brown. I wanted this for so long. It's called the Crush Liquid Lip. It's not a matte formula or anything. It's very creamy, but this is starting to smell. It's a little bit older, so I'm gonna let this go. I have one of the soft matte and easy lips from Sephora that I believe they were trying to dupe the Rare Beauty lip oils because it's like such a thin, very similar formula that like leaves a stain. I'm nearly certain that's what they were trying to do was dupe that formula. Um, I think I like this one like in its shade more than the other lip oils that I held onto from Rare Beauty. So I'm gonna hold onto this one. Speaking of Rare Beauty, I have one of the lip balms in Nearly Mauve. This is older. It's not like an overly nourishing formula. I find that this kind of fades off pretty quickly. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this one out. We're gonna try this one on as well. I just, I don't remember it. I have two from YSL. These are their Rouge Per Couture lipsticks and I have N157 and N8. I wanna say they come out very similar. They're a nice cream formula. They smell good too. Um, but I just, I remember, oh, look, there's a nick in it. They're so similarly shaded, but they're just expensive. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these guys. I have one of the glowing lips from ColourPop. I liked this shade and I held onto it because it's like this really nice, like pinky purple shade, but I, I never reach for this. I'm gonna pass this along. I have one here from uh, the, Relove line, sorry, from Makeup Revolution in Create. I liked this tone as well. Like it's so beautifully purple. Oh, it's so unique. It still smells good, so I'm gonna hold on to this. I have one of the Mademoiselle lips from Fenty. This is so old in my collection. This one is in Flamingo Acid. I could never let this go because of this shade. It's just so crazy, like magenta. It's also a nice formula too. It's just such an intense, 
shade. I'm gonna pull this one out and try this one on also. It's been so long and we don't have that many so far. I have one of the matte lips from Juvia's Place. I don't remember what these are called, but it's a mauve moment. I love this matte formula as well and always forget that I have it. Kind of like a soft matte. I don't think this is like fully matte or fully cream. Yeah, it's like a soft matte. I love this shade too. Again, not a, a really highly talked about formula as far as mattes, I'm gonna keep it. I have one of the lipsticks from Rare Beauty in Compliment. Oh no, this is the Dewy Lip Balm. The lipstick must be somewhere else. Ooh, this doesn't like smell good, so I gotta, this has gotta go. I wanna say these are my last Kiko Milano lip products that I have, like in this drawer. I have the Hydrating Lip Balm in Powerful Love. I have one that's like on my vanity that's also sparkly like this. This is so beautiful, plus it's pretty sheer. It doesn't have like a shade to it, like too much. It's just a very, very light tint um, and it's absolutely gorgeous and kind of a dupe if you ask me to the balm from Tom Ford that's 90 bucks basically. Um, not like terribly dissimilar in terms of like these shimmery balms, these shimmery sticks. Like look, if you want shimmery sparkly balms, like go to Kiko Milano. This is like $25 and this one's like 90. Um, this is just like basically a terrible shade too. Like I hate this shade, but it was so expensive. That is literally the only reason I am holding on to the one from Tom Ford, um, but I love the one from Kiko. It's a nice formula, very lightly tinted. The packaging isn't like quite as sturdy, but it's still nice. Um, I just, I wish I would have gotten the clear one from Tom Ford, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then I have the Sparkling Lips lipstick in the Joyful Holiday Collection. I wanna say this is another sparkly one too. Oh yes it is, and I love this formula. It's a nice like, matte and uh, it's a nice shade. And actually the, the sparkles like translate to your lips. Again, Kiko Milano is totally underrated for their sparkly lip formula. I feel like nobody on YouTube talks about them but me. I have one of the soft matte lips from Prada, I'm pretty sure. This is in a shade I just dislike too. It's in P155. It's one of the monochrome soft matte lipsticks. Um, it's like, it came out like too beigey, I think, like too pink. I just, I don't like it. Um, and I already decluttered the balm, so I'm gonna hold on to this one basically for reference. I have one from Winky Lux that I have loved. It's a cream lipstick that had like a little kitty in it. It's so cute. Um, and this one is in the shade Posh, like P-A-W-S-H. Really pretty. It still smells good too. So I'm gonna move this into, like I need to get more use out of it territory. I have one semi-matte lipstick from Essence in Freaky. Again, if you're looking for a matte formula, like Essence, check them out. Their semi-matte is so good. Um, and I like the shade, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I have two from Milani. One is the Balm formula, and this is the matte lipstick, I think, in Peony, or I have it backward. No, no that's correct. Oh, this is like loose in there. Looks like I hit it. I like this shade so much more than I feel like I liked in the packaging. This is also a tremendously wonderful, also kind of affordable matte formula, and this is their Balm in the shade Lingerie. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to both of these as well. I have one lip oil from Dee Dee Signature that just came out. Actually, it's, it's a lip gloss, but it's basically like a lip oil. It's so smooth. Um, no real like stickiness to it. It's just like this great lip oil formula and it's basically clear, um, but it has these like really cute like watermelons in it and it distinctly smells like watermelon. They came out in just different scents basically. Uh, brand new to me, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Here are the remainder of my full-size MAC lipsticks, and I feel like these are all different formulas. This is the Luster Glass, which I think is the same as the Minis. This one is the Love Me Lipstick in Bated Breath. This one is in Thanks It's MAC. And then this one is the Luster Lipstick in Plumful. I don't think I want to hold on to all the shades. I like this one because it's like a little bit sheer, and then you can build it up in Bated Breath. I think this color I don't like love on me. It's just a little too beigey. Like this is not great for my undertone. It kind of washes my face out. Um, and then this one is plumful. 
which I think is just like bright pink. Yeah, I do like this one. Um, but the one in Thinks It's Mac, um, I'm not gonna hold on to. I'm gonna pass that along and keep these. I have two of the e.l.f. Satin O lipsticks. Oh, their magnets are pulling away. Uh, I love both of these, I'm pretty sure. This is Standing Ovation and Effortless. This one looks a lot like, I think the one that I had from NARS that it's trying to do. They're just very similar. Um, you know what? This is like a little bit of a, a brownie shade that I just honestly, I don't reach for shades like this. So I'm gonna pass Standing Ovation along. Like these peachy brownish tones just don't look good on me. So I'm gonna let this one go and hold on to that one. I have one of like the lip blushes from Valentino. It's called the Licoroso Liquid Lipstick, um, but it was also marketed on Sephora's website as like being a blush as well. This one is in the shade uh, 110A. Um, this is the whole doe foot and I hate that. I've seen like YSL do liquid lips with these little weird doe foot applicators, but this is so drying on the lips. I just, I don't enjoy this at all. So I'm gonna pass this along. Here's one from About Face that I need to retest this formula. It's the Matte Paint It Lip Color in Last Good Night. I think I like this shade cause it's like on the purpley side. Yeah, but like how does it compare against the house labs that I pulled out? I think is kind of what I wanna know, the Atomic Shake. Cause I don't, I don't need both. And this one's newer, so I'm gonna test this one also. I have one more Bite Beauty here. This was the one I was talking about that I had another bullet from Bite. Um, the other two bullets that I have from Bite are in my everyday makeup drawer. This is such a beautiful formula. Uh, it's called Hot Tomato. It's still, again, the Power Move Soft Matte. Such a beautiful like line filling matte formula. I'm so sorry that these are no longer available and Bite is totally out of business, but I'm totally gonna hold on to this because it still smells good with all its lovely preservatives in there, I'm sure. I, I'm not gonna let this go. The other two are in my everyday makeup drawer and I like those shades a little bit more, so that's why I pulled those out, uh, but holding on to this. I have one of the lip glosses. These are actually like serum, serum balms um, from Make Beauty. This one is in Halo Moon. I had one of the serum balm intenses, but then my daughter got her hands on it. This is such a nice formula. It's basically like um, a lip oil, but these make products just, they don't last. This already smells and it's newer in my collection than some of these other ones, but this needs to be thrown away because it stinks. I have one of the matte formulas from KVD. This is the Studded Kiss, oh, this is the cream formula, I'm sorry, in Lovecraft. I had a matte formula from KVD before, and I think I ended up having to like pass it along. It just got old. But this is such a nice formula. It's so long lasting. Like it's creamy, but it's more of a soft matte formula, if you ask me. Really nice, not talked about formula, keeping this. I have one from, um, W7, which is a brand out of the UK that dupes a lot of other brands. It's their major matte and modest. I don't know if I love this color, but it's supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty matte lipsticks. And I had one, but I ended up passing it along because it was just older in my collection. Um, this one, I, I wanna test the shade on me and see if I like it. It's kind of a like a rich undertone. So I'm gonna pull this one and set it aside. Here is another one of their dupes. It's the Lippy Chics that are supposed to be duping MAC in Banter. This might be the one that I don't like love the shade. I don't know, I wanna test both of these. So we'll set this aside. I have a Catrice Shine Balm lipstick. And what is this in? Divine Femininity. Um, I think this is like, oh, this is kind of a, a sheer buildable formula. I need to test this one. I don't know if that's a, a shade that I like. It doesn't look like it because it's kind of a brownier shade. So we'll set that one aside too. I have three from Sephora. This one looks like it like had a sticker on it. Like something got sticky. I don't, I don't know. It's very unusual to be like that in my makeup collection. This whole bullet looks like that. Um, these were their matte lipsticks and this one is from the Stories collection. I believe these Sephora lip sprays were like the cream formula. Yeah, I really like this. And I had two and I decluttered one already because it wasn't a good shade. Um, but this one in 36, which looks like it's spring break is nice. I'm gonna hold on to it. It still smells good. And then two of their matte bullets. This one is in, I guess, 04 is the shade here. I like these. I don't know if I love that color. And then this one is 11. I might just wanna hold on to like one of these. Ooh, 
Okay, um, let's test these two. They actually do a really good job with like the stickers against the shades. I just, I don't know if I like either of those to be honest with you. I have one from Natasha Denona from the I Need a Nude collection in Avril. I think this is a beautiful like mauve shade on me. It's like a creamy formula that actually lasts pretty long on the lips. I'm holding onto this. I found my other two of the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums from Makeup by Mario. I have the Mocha Glow and then I have the Plum Glow. Um, Mocha Glow is there. Plum Glow is here. I don't know if I love either of these shades. To be honest, this one was in my car, I want to say, for like the longest time. Um, or one of these was. I think I'm gonna try this one on. I'm gonna hold on to Plum Glow, but I don't know if I love Mocha Glow, especially now that I have like Mauve Glow or Rosy Glow or whatever that one is. I might be able to part with the Mocha Glow, but I like Plum Glow. I have one of the Color Reaches from L'Oreal, the Intense Volume Mattes in 482. Um, this is maybe not Color Reach. I don't know if this is like a formula I love, again, I don't really remember this, so I want to retest it. Probably have like 15 I want to retest at this point. I have one from Too Faced. This is called the Heartcore Lipstick and Never Grow Up. Mm. It still smells good, but I have so many other formulas that I prefer more than this. So I'm gonna pass this one along. Two more glosses from Fenty. This one is newer. It's the one in Riri, and then the clear one is in Glass Slipper. Actually, both of these are like fairly new releases in terms of shade. Um, Riri is a beautiful mauve shade with like little tiny shimmers, like it sparkles in it. It's really pretty. And then Glass Slipper is like this full on clear. Still has stick to it though, same formula holding on to both of these. Fenty Glow is in my everyday makeup drawer right now. I have one lipstick from Gucci, and this one is in the shade Sally Soft Honey. Um, I don't remember what these are called. And I think I like, hmm, ooh, I don't love that shade. Let's, let's test this shade out again too, shall we? I have one here from Victoria Beckham. It's the Posh Lipstick in Sway. This one is more of a mauve shade, so I enjoy this one. Like as far as this one and Gucci goes, like they're pretty similar um, in terms of like kind of sheer, kind of glossy formulas. So let me test out the one from Gucci. Just simply might want to keep it for reference purposes, but probably not something I would use. The Victoria Beckham one is really good though. I do like that color, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I have one of the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balms from Dior in 012. I remember this being like such a hard formula. Shall we test this one as well? Um, this one I, I just keep for sentimental reasons. It's so old and expired. It's a lipstick from Lancome in Rouge Creation. It's one of their Rouge Absolutes. I, I'm not even gonna open this for you guys. Uh, it's literally was just given to me by my grandmother, so I will never get rid of it. It's totally old and expired and all that good stuff, but I keep it for sentimental reasons. I have one of the new Lip Softies from Tower 28 and Dolce de Leche. This is fabulous. Like, I don't know if everyone loved these, but I totally did. It is like basically a, a dessert on your lips. It's a nice wash of color. I like this, even though it's kind of a brownier shade. Um, yeah, it's so pleasant. The only thing I don't love is like the applicator, you know, kind of gets a little bit messy, but I can get over that because it's like putting dessert on your mouth. So I'm keeping that. The last two that I have in here are the Kissing Jelly Glosses from Too Faced. The purpley sparkly one is in Grape Soda and then Sweet Cotton Candy. These don't have like a ton of color to them. This one just kind of like cools down your lips. These are what they call a juicy lip oil slash gloss hybrid. That's exactly what they feel like. They're more like a lip oil, honestly, than like a gloss because they're your kind of conventional, very smooth lip oil that doesn't last super long. Um, I just really enjoy this formula. Not very nourishing, something that I have to like keep reapplying. I don't mind doing that. I never feel like a lip oil is really supposed to nourish me the way like maybe a balm is. I mean, it's a bonus, but it's not a prerequisite for me. So I'm going to hold on to both of these. I just went and grabbed the last of the stuff that was in the second drawer. So let's go through the rest of these. 
have a bunch of lifter glosses and I'm not gonna keep all of these, I don't think. There's just no reason I can't use all of them. And I've told you guys, I don't really like orange shades. Um, some of these were from their like candy drop collection, I think. So this first one in Gummy Bear, I think is just too pink for me. It like kind of washes my lips out again. This one in Petal, I really love. It's a nice kind of shimmery mauve shade. And one of like the originals, this one wasn't from the Candy Drop. These four were, and these two were not. This one is in Pearl. So I love Petal and Pearl. It's a nice shimmery pale shade. Um, I'm not sure about this one. This one is in Peach Rings. I don't love this shade either. So I, I don't know about this. These are hard to get back on. I don't think I'm gonna keep that one either. And then this one is in Sweet Heart, another orangey shade. Um, this is like milkier in Peach Rings. Like, I don't know if I love that. And this one is in Taffy. I had other shades, but I did give some to my daughter. I think I'm gonna give her those three right here. Gummy Bear, Peach Ring, and then this one in Sweet Heart. I'm gonna pass along to her. I'm going to keep the three of these. I have one new release from Lanolips. This is the 101 Ointment in Glazed Donut. I've talked about this on my channel pretty frequently. Um, it's basically clear, but it's like a maple donut flavored. It says glazed donut, but it's really not. It's maple. It smells just like a maple donut. It doesn't have like a ton of tint to it, but it's super high shine, very line filling, but it tastes like an ointment. <laughs> It tastes like medicine in your mouth if you end up licking it. The smell is great, but the taste doesn't match the smell. It's kind of disappointing, um, but I am still gonna hold on to it because I just, I love the smell of maple donuts. And I have one of the Colorstay Satin Inks from Revlon. This one is in the shade Partner in Crime. I think this one I wanna try on. Yeah, I don't even remember this formula. I think it's like a creamy matte, like a thin, creamy formula that ends up drying down matte. So I'm gonna test that one. And then I have one of the plumping, major volume plumping glosses from Patrick Ta in Need Her. I had this in my purse for the longest. Um, it's nice. It's kind of a standard lip gloss formula. It has like a little bit of a tingle. I wouldn't say that it's plumping, but it's nice. I'm gonna keep it. I have one of the matte liquid lips from Give Beauty in the shade I'm still here. Oh, it's I'm still here in the shade Tomboy. Um, you know, I'm like pulling out all the ones that are like this, like similarly shaded to test them. And this one is such a similar color and formula to some of the other ones. I feel like I want to pull this one out. The same thing with this Revlon, which is the Limitless Matte. Like I have a satin and then a limitless matte and I'm like thinking they're very similarly colored. No, one's a lot deeper. This one I want to test too. I, I just like, I don't even remember how this performs. Like, is this the one I want to keep or do I want to keep Revlon? Like I just, I don't, we're going to set all those aside. I have one of the color fetish hydrating lip stains from Milani. This is fabulous. Fabulous. This is a new release. I don't feel like anyone talks about it. It stains your lips, but it's like this super thin formula. It's in the shade Rose Rising. This goes nowhere. This one is very similar from Makeup Revolution. Also fairly new release. It's Mad About Mauve. It's also a tint. It's called the Pout Tint. It's also a very thin formula as well. And it tints like perfectly, but like this one actually stays like super glossy for a really long time. They did such a good job on this, I think. Whereas I feel like they're dupes for the Gucci glosses were absolutely awful. I think this was really good. I'm definitely keeping this. Speaking of the Gucci glosses, I don't like this one in 001. It's a liquid balm. It has like a pepperminty scent, but it's like really sticky. And I think I called it Gucci. It's Givenchy, sorry. I just want to test this one again on my lips. I think it's just too pink and I don't really reach for shades like this, but we'll test it or at least like give it one last hurrah. I don't, I don't know which at this point. Um, I have one of the cream lips from, this is called the Unforgettable Lipstick in Modern Love from Kevin Aqua. This is like fairly new to me. Um, I don't really love the shade. It's like so new. I just feel bad for 
decluttering it. It's just that the shade is kind of like off. The undertone for me is just wrong. It's a little too brown leaning or orange leaning almost. So yeah, I'm gonna pass it along. I have one more from Sephora. This one is the cream lip stain, which I was wrong. This one I think is the dupe for the Rare Beauty lip oils. I had said that incorrectly earlier. I like this one. I may even like this one more than the lip stains from Rare Beauty. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Did I say it was in the shade 70? I have a one from NARS in the Power Matte formula in American Woman. Do I love this? I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's so creamy. Another one I forget about, totally forget about, and it's it's actually a fairly decent shade on me. I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have one of the L'Oreal Lip Gloss Shine Balm things. They have like a really long name to them. This one is in Be Outstanding. Um, I really like this formula and it's older, so I feel like this needs to come out too. Like I'm trying to pull out all the older ones to get more use out of them and like not feel bad that they went bad when they're products that I really like. So I'm gonna pull this one out as well. Good thing I did like this last section last because my hands are quite stained from all of that. I have one lip gloss from Give Me Glow Cosmetics in I Melt for Mauve. I wanna say they're discontinuing this particular shade. Um, because it was like $3 on their website, but it's such a cool tone, purple mauve. I love this formula, super glossy, line filling, staying. I have one of the lip glosses from Gucci that I hate. Um, just gonna say that. I don't even know what shade this is in. It's so hard to see. This is such a awful, like sticky formula, um, but I think this is has to stay because it released this year, I think, and this needs to go into like my worst. I just, I didn't enjoy this formula for $40. I have two of the Flower Beauty Gloss Crush Lip Serums. Um, this is like a dupe really to the Milk Makeup Odyssey Lip Gloss Hybrids. This one is in the shade Pink Crush, and then this is Fuchsia Crush. I love the names because they're just simple and straightforward. I actually really enjoy this formula. It's smoother than uh, a lot of lip glosses, but it has some tack to it, very smooth. Um, and I like that this lighter pink one, it's just a little bit more sheer. So I'm holding onto both of these. I have a release from BH Cosmetics. I wanna say this came out last year at some point, the 411 Lip Glaze Shimmering Lip Gloss. Nobody talks about BH Cosmetics anymore because why would they? But this is such a beautiful, frosty, shimmery gloss. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have an old, old lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. It's the High Shine Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar Enamored. It's kind of like a milky shade. And I have the other one that I have from them in my Project Pan, but this is so milky on me. I wore it recently and I was like, mm, no, no, no. So I'm going to declutter this. Finally, it's gotta go, gotta go. Finally, I have a whole set of the Kaleidos. These are called the Untamed, believe it or not. Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. Do they need all those names? I don't know. Um, but I had the whole set and I've held onto them. But I think I wanna get rid of some um, because I don't use all of them. Pink Marquise is like a shimmery, yes, that's clean. Like a shimmery mauve shade. So I really enjoy this shade. It's like um like a lip oil formula, but maybe a little bit stickier than that, but it's so smooth. This one is in Elixir. Skinny dip. This is Hot Pursuit. This is like a purple shimmery gloss, but it's basically clear when it gets on. It's in Fearful. It's like just super cool toned with just sparkles. Then this pinkish sparkly one is in Penthouse. This one's almost um, like a metallic finish because it just has so many dense sparkles in it. And then last, Smoke. I might have passed along like one shade. I think I am going to keep these four, which is Pink Paradise was the first one that I swatched. And then Penthouse was here. I'm going to keep Fearful here. And then I'm going to keep Last Smoke, but I'm going to declutter the other ones 
um, Hot Pursuit is just a little bit similar to Last Smoke and I prefer Last Smoke. That's that one right there. Um, and then Elixir is here and it's just not pinky enough for me. And then this one right here in Skinny Dip is just a little bit too brown. So I'm going to pass along these three and I'm holding on to those four. So I had pulled out 27 different lip products that I want to put on my lips to see whether or not they stay or go. And like a lot of these are like very similar formulas. The Give, the two Revlons, the Maybelline, the KVD. I think I, I always question whether or not it's like a nice matte liquid lip formula. And sometimes I just, I don't remember how they perform plus some of the new products. So let's move into testing these on the lips. All right, let's get into the lip swatching portion. I think I've done one video where I lip swatched some of the products, probably like all my lip balms and lip glosses, but I imagine this is probably a really good way just naturally to test out some of your lip products that you're unsure about or that you just haven't used in a while. Sometimes I find some of my holy grails that way, simply because the overconsumption of some of the products just puts a burden on your memory in terms of how some of these things perform. So there was 27 products that I pulled out, including the three that are new. So I actually think that I will start with two of the new ones from Queen Musea. Again, these were the matte cream lipsticks in the two shades that I picked for PR. Again, I do have a code, you guys, with them. Very excited, like I mentioned to you before, it's Carrie Megan. I will list it in the description box. This particular shade, was Montre. It's M-O-N-T-R-E-U. I'd say this is like a deeper coral shade is kind of what this looks like. Again, I picked these, but you know how I feel about corals. I've mentioned that many times. So I don't know if this is going to be something that I love, but it feels like a creamier matte formula. That's a really interesting shade. Very, very bright coral. It's actually a deeper coral shade, so it's not beigey, which a lot of shades that are very beigey mesh with, I think, my undertone just overall and don't look good, but this is actually really, really vibrant and kind of nice. Actually kind of looks good with this eye look and the shirt that I'm wearing today. I don't know, I'm just, I'm vibing with this color. It is a creamier matte formula. It emphasizes lip lines, but not as much as some of them do. It's not a drying matte formula. These are kind of the matte lips um, that I like that have a little bit more hydration, but I don't know if I'd call this matte. I would definitely call this like a semi-matte, and that's how it feels when you swatch it. It has a little bit of sheen to it. And this is so pretty, I don't even wanna take it off. Like I just feel fresh and like spring with this color. I, and I think it's very flattering too. It was super easy to put on. It feels like it's gonna be no budge. This just feels super duper comfortable. And this shade, it's an interesting choice for me, but it's it's quite delightful. I'm actually quite surprised um, that I like this shade as much as I do. And I'm thrilled that I picked this color. This is just such a fun color that I don't even know if I have in my collection. I don't even think it compares to the shade in Dumbo from Makeup by Mario. It's just not as vibrant. Maybe the only one that I have that kind of comes close to this is the one from Oma Beauty, the black magic one with a little bit of sparkle, but that is um, a cream finish and so it doesn't last super long. It's nice. It's not as deep coral as this. This is kind of a unique matte lip in my collection. I just think this looks really, really good. I really like it. Um, the code that I have in the description box, you guys, is for 10% off on their website. I do earn a commission on it, um, but I earn commission on a lot of the links that I provide. This one is just an affiliated discount code. All right, let's go into the next one that I have. That was so painful to take off. <laughs> it makes my face look so bland. This one is in Becky Sharp. It's a more mauve color. Very, very neutral tone for me, something that I, I have a lot of shades in. Well, that's just my lips, but better, isn't it? That's a color I would definitely reach for if I was unsure about what color I wanted to grab. It almost kind of like is my lip color. It's not super noticeable that I'm actually wearing a lip product. I'm not sure I love that. I mean, it's a beautiful shade, but it's absolutely my lips but better tone. I am surprised that I enjoy the one in Montre. Montre? Montre? I, I don't know how to pronounce it, that I like that one just so much more. This is nice, like it's not bad. I would not declutter either of these. I quite like them. I don't think that they're my favorite matte formula, 
but they're pretty darn good. They were so easy to apply and they're not so creamy that they're slippy. They like really lock down. Like I would not feel like I need a lip liner with these lippies. All right, let's move on. I wanna try the Kiss Kiss B Glow Oil from Guerlain. Next, this one is in the shade A09, Lavender Glow. I wanted something that I didn't have already in my collection. I have a bunch of lip oils, as you guys saw, but nothing that is purple like this. This might be fairly colorless, just a slight tint, so it might not make a big difference, but it has a decent swatch to it. And again, a couple of you have recommended this to me, so that is pleasant. Look at that shade. It's like such a lovely addition, like just really cools down my lips because it's it's purple. A lot of times like purple tones will just kind of cool down my lips. It has like a little bit of slight pinkish hue to it. Mm, it's very, very comfortable though. It like penetrates the lips like almost immediately. It has like a little bit of a flavor to it. It's definitely a quintessential kind of luxury smell, but not as intense as say Gucci, for example, which is almost unbearable for me. This is really nice. Love this shade. So glad that I picked this up. It's very high shine. It wasn't goopy. It just was very slick going on. Thank you guys for recommending this. I think it's beautiful. All right, let's keep going. I want to try the one from Hermes in Rose and Sens. I believe this is the semi-matte formula. The reason we're pulling this one in is because I remember it being too light and I'm just not liking the shade. Um, these are very expensive. These are $90 and so it's a lot harder to declutter something like this over Catrice that was probably eight, but mm, yeah, it's a little bit peachy, but not as peachy as I remember it being. This one has a much stronger scent to it, very perfumey, almost immediately got into my mouth. I don't think this is a semi-matte formula. It's actually very, very creamy. If it is a semi-matte, it is. <laughs> less matte than the ones that are called matte. Um, yeah, but I don't remember the formula. Oh, it is satin. It's a satin lipstick, I'm sorry. It does actually say on here, which is quite unusual for a lot of luxury brands to say what the actual finish is. Actually, that's kind of nice. Lighter pink color, not too peach for me. And I, it's creamier than I remember this being. Nice shade for summer. I'm not usually into something so light but it's not so bad that I would want to declutter it, especially for $90. So speaking of Catrice, let's go into the Catrice Shine Balm that I have next in the shade Divine Femininity. I don't know if this is like um, a unique color in my collection. It's it's almost like it starts off sheer, here it is. It doesn't seem like terribly kind of dissimilar, just the undertone is a little bit different from Hermes. I think that's again a kind of my lips but better shade. This is in, you know, a shine balm formula, so it's supposed to be shiny and creamy. Um, it's so my lips but better, and I kind of feel like um, the one, you know, from Queen Musia had a like deeper undertone to it. I mean, it's not that I don't have shades like this, it's just I probably won't reach for this for such a nude lip. I prefer the ones from Merit and Baby, which is a really, really nice nude for me that actually makes it kind of look like I, I have a tint to it, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Let's jump into a different territory here. Let's go into the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum and Mocha Glow from Makeup by Mario. I had kept the two others, the Plum Glow, the Mauve Glow, or the Rose Glow, I can't remember. Um, but brown isn't something that I typically reach for, so I want to test this out. Again, I think I had this in my car at some point, and that made me use it a lot more. I just don't know if this is something I would want to reach for. It's actually really pretty. Mm, I don't think that's bad. It's so sheer and shiny that it's not as brown as when I swatch it out which just makes it so much more flattering on my lips. Plus I love this formula. So that's a little bit harder too, and I know I love a formula um, that I think is kind of unique in my collection. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to this because my daughter, passing along products like this to her, she doesn't really love plumping things. Um, I probably will have some like thrown in there, but this is, is pretty intense kind of minty thing. I would rather just keep it, you know, than like have to throw it away. I also do give things to like my sister. I don't know if she's into lip plumping kind of products. Like I've never asked her. She takes it, but um, I don't know if, you know, she ends up keeping it or ends up getting rid of it. But my daughter really just doesn't like the plumping aspect of it. So for that reason, I'm going to hold on to it. Let's go into the Lippy Chic from W7. This is Ultra Cream Lipstick, and this was supposed to dupe the MAC formula, probably one of the cream formulas, the Luster Glass maybe. This one is in Banter, which 
do I have this? Yes, this is more affordable. Yes, that is so freaking smooth. That was really comfortable to put on. This was so nice to apply. It just had this really very smooth kind of line filling feeling when I was putting it on. Mm. You know, this is like the quintessential kind of mauve shade that I normally reach for. I'm definitely burdened by a lot of lip products. So memorization of all of my products doesn't always happen. And I've even had people recommend that I take notes so that I can memorize formulas. And that's, that's not feasible for me. I cannot take notes of every single product that I have in my collection. But this is exercise that I feel like really helps. This is just something I didn't remember, but really, really enjoy like the shade here. So for now, I'm going to hold on to it unless there's something else that kind of comes along. Um, maybe in the Sephora. I mean, this is matte, so I don't know. Like everything else here, I think is matte that is kind of in the bullet style. So I'm going to hold on to this. I like this. And so far I have literally decluttered about a third of my collection. Um, because I'm looking at the bins over there and because they're all the same size, the bin that I decluttered is actually fuller than the second bin that I ended up keeping. So um, I know it's about one third at this point, so I don't, I don't have to feel bad about it. Let's go into the Sephora Matte Lipstick in 11, I think is the shade here. So that's like a full powder formula. Honestly, really similar, I think, to the shade that I kept in Montre. Actually, I think this one is like even more like vibrant when it was on my lips, but they're so similar. They're both a matte formula. The one from Premusia though is um, Premier. This is a powder finish. So this is pretty similar to like what you would expect from a MAC Powder Kiss formula or what I equate it to. Um, just honestly, very, very similar. Oof. It's also so comfortable. This one, I feel like fills in my lip lines like maybe a little bit more because it's just that powder formula. Let's try it on the other one in 04. This one looks more mauve maybe? Um, kind of hard to tell. It has like a, a terracotta kind of undertone to it, like a brownish undertone. Hmm. I don't absolutely love this shade. Yeah, there's something about the undertone on this one that I don't, I don't need in my life. I'm actually much prefer the shade that's like a little brighter, the one that I wouldn't normally reach for. I think there's just um, a hint of orange here that I don't know, I'm, I'm not loving this one in 04. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pass that along. Let's try the one from Makeup by Mario in Dumbo. I, I feel like this is kind of a similar brownie shade that I, I don't typically reach for. When I was buying these, I bought them with the kind of assumption that they would be a popular product and people would like to see them featured on my channel and on a fairer skin tone. So I got a more neutrally, what I thought was gonna end up being kind of a mauve shade, that red shade, and then a very deep burgundy shade. Um, but it just turned out that I didn't, I didn't love this one um, from memory anyway. I just enjoy this formula so much, but again, this is just not a shade because it's kind of brown leaning that I typically would reach for. I just think I can live without this, so I am gonna pass this one along because I have the two other shades that I will reach for. So I can reference the formula. Let's move into a different territory. I wanna try the KVD Hyper Light in Moth Orchid. I used to love this formula. This is like their reformulated version. The Hyper Light was something that they came out with in 2022 and um, I used to love the KVD matte liquid lip formula, so I was really worried that the Hyperlite would change a lot and uh, that I wouldn't like it as much. I think the formula is just very, very similar after reformulation, but it's thinner of a formula. It's still as kind of smooth and as nice as the original. We have to let this one like dry down just a little bit. I did also take this on a plane kind of right after I got it and then it dried up really fast. Uh, this is another one of the products that I traveled with when my dad got ill, so I had attachment to it, like sentimental value, so it was a little bit harder for me. Mm, this is a little bit of a light shade too. I still feel like I can, you know, pass this along. I don't, I don't think I need to keep this like in, in um, memories. Like I have, mm. he passed in um, 2022, the end of 2022 in October. Um, I was 37 and I was a lot older when I was born than most parents. He was 48. So, I mean, he didn't die of old age, which is not a thing, but, um, uh, he did pass and he was 86 years old. So he lived a full life. Uh, don't think I was ready. Needless to say, I, I have other things that have sentimental value, um, to me. So, um, I can pass this one along. And also, I've had this since September of 2022, so it's a little bit older in my collection, obviously. It still smelled fine, um, so I was willing to risk it. 
The next one that I want to try is the Atomic Lip Lacquer, I think is what they're called, from House Labs in Rosewood Shine. I think probably a deeper shade than the other one, but um, I'm pretty dead set on, on targeting a lot of these ones that are very similar in formula because I only want to keep really the ones that I love love because it's just not something that I reach for that often, kind of hence the reason this one got ignored. This is the kind I believe you really need to like let lock down but then kind of stains. Uh, I don't think stains is the right word. I think it becomes transfer proof essentially. So I'm gonna let it dry. It seems like it's taking like an awful long time to dry actually. <laughs> I've been sitting here kind of fanning it. But it is supposed to remain shiny even though it's transfer resistant. We need to test that. Like let's test it. Mm. It's transferred a bit so maybe I didn't let it dry completely. Okay. A lot of it is now transfer proof, mm, but it's still shiny. I don't remember this wearing the best, even though upon application it looks nice. Um, I love this though, that it's transfer resistant and still glossy. How long will it last? I don't know, but I also like this shade too in Rosewood Shine. Again, I think it has more mauve to it than brown. This is actually quite a nice lip product so far in putting it on. Again, I don't remember how this wears or anything, so what I'm gonna do is actually leave this one out. This is something I would like to like get more use out of for my everyday makeup drawer, and I will show you guys at the very end the lip products that I kept out, the stuff I decluttered, and we'll do an organization putting everything away. Let's move on to some of these other ones. Up next, we'll do the Colorstay Satin, no, Limitless Matte from Revlon. That one from House Labs, I remember, um, being sold out. For a really long time and I had to wait to pick it up. I feel like this is just a deeper shade but not terribly dissimilar. I like this shade a little bit better. I just I kind of like deeper tones like this but it's sticky. It's the kind of one that has tack to it. Something like this is really nice when you top it with a gloss and it locks the color down underneath. I want to test the rest of these. There's five more here. This might not be my favorite formula Again, this also could break down strangely. And I have the Chanel one that's also like a very similar shade. It doesn't overemphasize the lip line terribly. It actually kind of looks like a powdery finish, but you can't really touch your lips together, which I do. I do a lot. I go like this all the time. Let's go into the Give, oh, hello. The Give Beauty, I'm Still Here in Tomboy. I also believe this was a little bit trickier for me to get my hands on. It was sold out at my local Sephora for a while. Mm, that's not a good shade for me. Not at all. It swatches much deeper than it looks on my lips. I feel like this kind of washes my lips out. It's just a little bit more beige in undertone than I typically like. Mm, this one is such a better formula though than the Revlon. Like very similar powder, very similarly thin, but this has kind of more opacity on one swipe than the Revlon one did. This is a, maybe a little bit more translucent. You can kind of see that on the swatch, but it doesn't have that stickiness to it. I just, I don't really enjoy this shade, so I'm gonna pass this along. Let's go into the Urban Decay Backtalk. This is the Vice Lip Bond, I think is what it's called. Probably pretty similar to the House Labs Atomic Lip Lacquer. This, as I recall, is a really thin formula, um, but also matte and locks down. Um, and I liked the formula enough that I had an orange she shade that I can't remember the name of now. Um, so much so that I replaced it with this one. I specifically went back in stores to get a different shade that I liked. That is light. It has like almost a, a purple base to it that I think is um, my lips but better. Just much more flattering than the lighter kind of peachy shade that I feel like the one from Give Beauty was. We gotta let this dry. It's got a bit of stickiness to it, but it's almost like the House Labs, that it still remains shiny on top. Kind of no transfer though. It's just not as shiny as the Atomic Lip Shake. I think I'm saying it right. Lip lacquer, probably. It's a little bit light pink though. I remember this being a little bit deeper. I like the backtalk shade in the matte lip that I have, but this looks really washed out on me. But it's, it's honestly such a, a unique, like lighter, cool toned, almost purple shade. So I think for now I'm gonna hold on to this one. I wanna try one I feel like that might be kind of a similar shade from About Face. It's the matte paint it lip color in Last Goodnight. Let's do that one next. I think this is a very similar shade. This is a thinner formula. 
Um, it's moosier, but it's thinner. I don't always reach for shades like this, but I like to have a couple. There's like a time and a place to do a lip like this, depending on the eye look that you're wearing. Mm, this one's so much more smooth in terms of there's no stickiness the way that this one had, but I feel like it emphasizes my lip lines more. I just topped it with a little bit of balm. It's actually like a lip jelly, so it has a little bit of shine to it, and I want to see... No. I'm going to pass this along. I actually think I'm going to pass the one from Revlon, the color shade Limitless Matte, and oh, I don't think I said the shade. 012, lead the way. Just, I don't think that I like the idea of having to top things all the time. But we may get rid of both of these. I don't know yet. All right, let's do another one from Revlon. It's the color shade Satin Ink, so it's not like the Limitless Matte, but I do believe these are a very similar formula. Um, it, they're different shades, though. This one is a lot lighter. This one is in Partner in Crime. That almost like doesn't have any mauve to it. It's like my lips but better, I think. Hmm. Does this one even dry down? I don't know. It's definitely transferring. It's so my lips but better. Sometimes these shades aren't really even worth it for me to keep because they just don't show up that much. So it might have been my fault that I, I just picked a really light shade. It's transferring like a tiny, tiny bit in the corners. But this is very similar to both of these it has a little bit of a shiny finish but essentially kind of transfer proof the difference with this one very distinctly is that both of these emphasize my lip lines a lot more than this one from revlon and for reference these two are very very different um in terms of formula and the way that this looks it's still shiny but it's like basically transfer proof this formula i i quite enjoy i'm gonna hold on to this one I feel like that formula was actually a little bit more superior than some of the others. All right, this one from Maybelline is the Color Stay Vinyl Ink. This one looks very translucent, very watery and thin. Oh, this is the kind that you shake also. No, it's still fairly thin and translucent overall. Oh, such a better shade. By the way, this one is in Witty. Mm. This one transfers. I don't know that this claims to be transfer resistant though. Like the Revlon, I actually think this doesn't emphasize my lip lines maybe as much as Urban Decay and House Labs. I like the shade a lot better, so I'm gonna pass along the Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink, which I actually really enjoyed, but it's more a shade thing. Because those formulas feel very similar, this is just a shade I like better in Witty. I still wanna stay in drugstore territory here with the L'Oreal Color Riche. I think it comes from the Color Riche line, but it's the Intense Volume Matte in Les Mauve. Indomptable, I think is the full name of this, 482, which, surprise, surprise, it's a nice mauve shade. I was immediately reminded of L'Oreal's scents that they put in their lip products. I think this is probably my only L'Oreal lip product. Pretty sure. I've declared a lot over the years because the scent is so intense for me. I don't like perfumey scents in my lip products. I'm fine with it almost anywhere else I will tolerate it, but lip products, it bothers me. This is a really nice matte formula though, and I like the shade that the taste is in my mouth, which is super off-putting to me. Let me test it against the one from She Glam. This is the only product from She Glam that I've held onto. It's the Cosmic Crystal Matte Lipstick because I think this is kind of in a similar shade and I mean, I, I don't need both. I held onto this because it was a really nice matte formula. This one's a nice purpley tone, but I've kept some. I think the, the one that I've kept that's kind of purpley is the one in Backtalk from Urban Decay. This is nice, not as intense as the Intense Volume Matte. The Le Mauve is just a better shade. This is another one of those. I only need one cool tone purple, and I feel like this one gives me that. Even though this is matte, this is again like a very creamy formula. I'm gonna pass along the She Glam, and I'm gonna keep the L'Oreal. I, I enjoyed this formula. Let's go into the Major Mattes from W7. This one is in the shade Modest. So I told you guys this was like a dupe, the Huda Beauty matte lipsticks. If it's matte, but it's like super creamy. So uh, again, probably would not call this a matte formula. Um, I don't love this packaging. Like it never closes on me. And CV just came off. Uh, and CVS has done their duty here in putting all of these terrible, horrible stickers all over the packaging. This is a very similar vibe to the first lip that we put on. This might be a, like a little tiny bit brighter, 
um, but I, I probably held on to this because it was a really nice formula. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is like three or four dollars. It, it's just not very expensive. I'm going to I'm going to pass this along. This is not really a matte. This is kind of a cream formula. And while I think it's really nice, I have other cream formulas that uh, I will think of reaching for more than this one. It's not always about price point, but a lot of times I think it is. There have to be like exceptional drugstore products for me to keep them over things that cost more money because I will 100% want to get more use out of the money that I spent. Let's go into the Mademoiselle one in Flamingo Acid. Again, I told you guys I held on to this because of this incredibly cool shade. Plus it's like this super long lasting, deeply intensely pigmented formula. Like it will travel, but it's more satin matte. I wish this wasn't like this style bullet because it made it a little bit hard. This is a lipstick that because this color is so intense, you have to be very, very precise when you're applying it. And I was making a mess. I, I got a little bit like kind of up here. The shade is just so freaking cool. Like Fenty sometimes does amazing, amazing colors. Sometimes they, they turn me off because they're just too bright, but I don't have anything like this and it still smells good. It still seems to perform well. I can't let it go. I need to wear this like way more often. I'm very excited to see where we land at the end of this try on. And of course I'm not including the three new lip products, but just the ones that were in my collection and how that compares against like what I ended up getting rid of. I think it's gonna be about half. I wanna go into the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in Rosewood, 012 Rosewood. This is again, a balm that I consider a little bit harder and a little bit more sheer. There's not, there's not a ton of color going on here. Um, I have barely used this product. As you know, Dior can be fairly expensive, and I think I've held on to this for reference in a lot of cases, but it's it's nice. It's like nourishing. It's harder, but as it ages, I think it gets a little bit more soft and, and kind of plump than the initial kind of breakthrough that I, you know, had to work through on this. I think I'm going to hold on to this one, and I'm going to put it by my computer. I oftentimes will apply a balm or a gloss or something while I'm working. And this feels very like cooling and nourishing, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I forgot about the one from <laughs> Makeup by Mario in the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the Apricot Glow one. I pulled in Apricot Glow and the brownie one and I forgot Mocha Glow. This one is so sheer. It almost looks like a high shine gloss. I'm gonna pass along the Mocha Glow. I think I actually prefer the Apricot Glow more than the brownie one. I don't like this one as much. So I'm gonna declare the Mocha Glow, but hold on to Apricot Glow. All right, this one will pain me, but I will get rid of it if I don't like it. It's the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Lip Balm in 001. I have gone back and forth about getting a different shade in this because I never really liked this very light hot pink. These are so popular when they came out. But they're so strong, they're so strong. Putting flowers on your lips. It's not as oh, gross. That's not as pigmented as I, I remember it being. Aside from the scent, I like everything about it. It's it's like super high shine and it's, it's like almost sheer. So I'm gonna hold on to it as well. Let's do another high-end Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brillant in Sally Soft Honey, which I swatched and I remember it being like kind of an orange shade. But then I started thinking about it like after the fact, I've worn this before and it's kind of like a, a neutral mauve for me. Yeah, it's like hardly a color at all really. And that feels really comfortable, but the this, the flavor here, the scent is not my favorite. Some of these though, I would like to just like throw in places that I like to throw on something and get use out of them. I believe this one from Givenchy was in my purse or my car for quite a long time um, before I ended up bringing it back inside. Stuff like this is nice for that. The scent is just not my favorite, but I will tolerate it. There's one left. I'm gonna keep the Gucci. Let's try on the Rare Beauty. Balm, I guess, in Nearly Mauve. I have declared several of these over the years because these tend to like turn a little bit quicker on me. Nice shade though. Mm. This one is a little bit newer. I had other balms um, that I ended up declaring, but I really liked this formula so much so that I ended up getting a different shade that I just prefer more. And to be honest, the Rowan liquid lip balms, I feel like should feel like this. Like lip oils, those are just a little bit stickier where this one feels like Silk, putting silk onto your lips. So I'm gonna hold on to that one also. 
So I have kept 14 and I'm decluttering 10. Okay, let's do the final wrap up, you guys. I wanna show you everything that I decluttered. I wanna give you counts on everything that I decluttered versus what I kept. And then we'll do a speed through organization of putting everything back in the drawer and hopefully a little bit more organized. Plus I'll show you guys what I'm keeping out that I'm going to use in my rotation. A lot of the stuff that I already mentioned, but I will show you that, so let's hop into it. All right, this is the final result, you guys. I have over 250 lip products. There were quite a few. They're in my everyday makeup rotation, so these didn't even go in here. I have some in my purse. I have some in my car. I have some downstairs by my computer, so I definitely have over 250. What you're looking at here is 246. So of this, I kept 171, including these items here. And what I'm gonna keep out right now is these three I have very, very little left, especially these Bite Beauty ones. Um, these three, I think there are two glosses and a lip oil from Lunar Beauty, are nearing the end. They're just a little bit older in my collection. I talked about these three going purse, car, and downstairs near my computer so that I can use them up. But um, some of these other ones are just gonna go into like my everyday makeup rotation um but i think i'll be able to pan these three pretty quickly uh but yeah again 171 items that i am keeping and then over here this is 75 exactly of the lip products that i am decluttering so i have decluttered nearly a third of my collection let's get into the organization i want to put all of this stuff in these two bins back in the two drawers so we'll do a little bit of a speed through of the final results Okay, that's it. I managed to put all of these back in here and I totally forgot this lip product. Um, this is from Simi Hayes. I think they just did an extension. This is the Velvet Blur Matte Lip Balm in the shade Windburn. Um, this is actually a really pretty creamy formula, even though it says it's matte, but it doesn't fit anywhere. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this and use it. I'll decide later what I'm gonna do but you can see all my smaller bullets fit here. And this was full, plus all of this was full. And then all of my bullets here were full. And then I had a ton of glosses here. I couldn't fit all of this stuff up here. Um, I started with the this first row blank because I hate putting them all the way up. Every one of the lip products that I put here just never gets any use. So this is not perfect. I tried to organize it by size, which I always do and not necessarily by type of product, even though um, I try to keep them together by brands. But anyway, that is everything today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm out of here. Hope to catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.